Decimal multiplication. Let's say we want to multiply 0 0.3 times 0 0.6. We can use a decimal model to multiply a decimal by a decimal. We draw a square with 10 equal rows and 10 equal columns. Each square represents 1 hundredth or 0 0.01. Each row or column represents a tenth. The first factor of the multiplication represents the rows, and the second factor stands for the columns. The product is the area that is shaded twice. We always start with a bigger factor. In this case, it's 0 0.6. Each column represents the tenth, and we have six of them, so we have to shade six columns. Next, we shade the rows. We have three of them, because each row represents the tenth. We use a different color for each factor. Now we count the double shaded area. 18 squares are double shaded, and each square represents 1 hundredth, so our product is 18 hundredths. We put a zero in the ones place, then the decimal point, and finally 18. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.6 equals 0 0.18. Let's do another example. 0 0.7 times 0 0.4. The first factor represents the rows, and the second factor represents the columns. We start with the biggest factor, which is 0 0.7. Each row is 1 tenth, so we shade 7 rows. Then, using a different color, we can shade 4 columns to represent 0 0.4. Now we count the double shaded area. 28 squares are double shaded, so the answer is 28 hundredths, or 0 0.28. Now let's move on to the next example. 0 0.6 times 1.2. The first factor, 0 0.6, stands for the rows. The second factor, 1.2, represents the columns. Did you notice that this decimal is greater than 1? We have 1 whole and 2 tenths, but how do we draw it? We just need two models with 100 decimal squares in each. Like always, we start with the biggest factor, 1.2. Because 1 1 is the same as 10 tenths, we shade 10 columns for the 1, and 2 columns for the 2 tenths. Now we can shade 6 rows, using a different color. Notice that we extend shading onto the second model too. Next, we count the double shaded area. There are 60 double shaded squares on the first model and 12 on the second. We add them up and we get 72 double shaded squares. So the final answer is 72 hundredths or 0 0.72. Let's do another example. 1.3 times 0 0.8. The first factor, 1.3, represents the rows. The second factor, 0 0.8, stands for the columns. As in the previous example, we need two models because one of our factors is greater than one. We start with the biggest factor, which is 1.3. We stack the models vertically because we need to start with the rows. We shade 10 rows for one whole because one whole equals 10 tenths, and three more rows for the decimal part, which is 3 tenths. Next, we shade eight columns, using a different color. We extend shading onto the second model, too. Now we count the double shaded area. There are 80 double shaded squares on the first model, and 24 on the second. We sum them up and we get 104 double shaded squares. 100 squares means one whole so we put a 1 in the 1's place. Then we write the decimal point. We have 4 more squares, which is the same as 4 hundredths, so they go in the hundredths place. So the final answer is 1 and 4 hundredths, or 1.04. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.